welcome to all today we are going to learn a remedy that is asa poetida one of the uh, very hysterical remedy in our madira medica and you can say that what type of people basically what is the nature of asa poetida we are always knowing uh, regarding their git symptoms the loudest eructations and uh, uh, hysterical complaints but apart from that what is the basic nature of asa poetida why they are uh, behaving like that so uh, you can say the asa poetida the main uh, word we can use is a fickleness what is fickleness so fickleness means there is persistence in nothing what is that uh, suppose i am thinking for a particular thing at this moment so uh, just another moment after one minute i will think of something else after another minute i will think of something else so it's not a stagnation in my thoughts it is continuously changing from one thing to another i am not getting a, a stagnation at a one point that is a thing in the asa poetida which is a very important that is fickleness what you can call as a changeability also so that is a thing number 1 number 2 you can say there is an uh, important thing uh, that is mood swing mood swing in the asa poetida it is also having some changeability right so uh, at one moment there will be excitement at another moment there will be complete stagnation so there is an alternating state which we are going to see in uh, asa poetida now uh, so how what is the basic constitution of asa poetida we are uh, usually telling that this has a uh, this person has a robust constitution means the physically body is properly developed mentally this person is very sharp means mentally they are having some uh, proper sense so what is the basic nature of asa poetida why they are uh, doing like this they are very super sensitive individuals the vitholka says they are very super sensitive individuals how they are easily excited for even uh, the things which are very much uh, of no use insignificantly they are getting excited and at the another moment they completely get indolent completely apathetic for a one point there was so much excitement at one moment and for the same thing there is an complete indolence or apathy at the another moment so you can't predict or you can't judge that what is the basic nature what is the uh, basic thing behind the asa poetida their constitution is so much so superficial they are not actually deep and uh, deeply developed so uh, one can readily perceive that they do not have the a strong constitution uh, so that is a thing number 1 number 2 there is an uh, hysteria right what we call in the asa poetida so even the little things bother them a lot what is the meaning of hysteria hysteria means uh, the things which they tell in an exaggerated form but along with the emotion so emotion plus exa- uh, exaggeration that is a hysteria now uh, even the little things bother them and their anxiety is so much so high but always in their life they will keep all the things inside and at a one moment it happens that all the things come la- uh, come out like an outburst so it will uh, finally go into a nervous breakdown because asa poetida is having the action on uh, nervous system right so the gullian barre syndrome we can tell like that because uh, what happens generally the things which have, which they have created mentally that will affect their nervous system at a time at some point of time in their life so that is we go, uh, we are going to see so the fainting attacks which is present in asa poetida it is due to this thing that uh, emotionally they can't handle the things you know uh, an infant an infant if we tell an infant that you have to uh, 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 you can say that they have to take a weight of 5 kg so it's not possible an infant or a child can't hold the weight of 5 kg in their hands 
सो इट इज़ लाइक दैट ऑनली इवन द स्मॉलेस्ट थिंग इन दी लाइफ ऐसा पर्टिटा कान हैंडल सो ड्यू टू दैट द नर्वस ब्रेक डाउन इज गोइंग टू बी सीन राइट देन अनदर थिंग विच यू कैन सी देर इज एन फेंटनेस बट फेंटनेस इवन फ्रॉम थिंकिंग ऑफ टेकिंग द मेडिसिन दैट ओ आई हैव टू टेक अ मेडिसिन दे विल हैव अ फ्यर ओ माई गॉड वॉट मेडिसिन आई एम गोइंग टू टेक whether it will be proper or not whether it will not having any side effect na so by thinking that continuously they may get a fainting attacks even from any other physical complaint suppose if a person is having a colicky pain in the abdomen so during that pain also the pain is so much so uh, uh, high for them actually it is not high but the intensity they feel it as a very high so they get again fainting attack in that even after the coition they can't handle that emotional excitement and again get fainting attacks and all the complaints for them is better or ameliorated by deep breathing you know when a person is in an anxiety we tell them take a deep breath you will feel better so it's like with the esophagitis that they feel better with the deep breathing now uh so when they are in an anxiety uh, anxiety the esophagitis people they always uh walk here and there wo idhar udhar bahut chalte rehte hain they can't stay at one place uh during the anxiety so uh, for that there is a rubric that in this state they walk hither and thither what is hither and thither that is idhar udhar hamesha idhar udhar chalte rahenge kabhi ek jagah nahi dikhenge तो इन दी एनजाइटी दिस दिस इज अ स्टेट ऑफ द एसाफर्टेटम वॉट अबाउट आर्जेंटम नाइट्रिकम आर्जेंटम ऑल्सो हैज द एनजाइटी सो ड्यूरिंग दैट एनजाइटी दे विल वॉक इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इन दी वन डायरेक्शन ओनली बट रिमेंबर द आर्जेंटम नाइट्रिकम ऑलवेज वॉक्स विद द ओपन आइज दे कैंट वॉक विद द क्लोज आइज राइट सो दैट इज अ स्टेट ऑफ आर्जेंटम एंड एसाफर्टेटम इवन यू कैन से the fickleness what we have told the word for esophagitis uh, in that they will not be uh, constant or stagnant in this particular state after some time again they may become normal and uh, there is an highly mood swing so suddenly uh, suppose they are very emotional so they may remember something which has happened with them in the past and they uh, which have hurted them a lot so they may have suddenly a lot of grief oh my god you know uh, that person has affected me a lot he has hurted me a lot at one moment they will think like this and another moment okay i am very happy i am not having anything i am i am in a joy i am very cheerful you know so like this there is an alternation in the mood and uh if we talk about the grief of esophagitis we can also compare with the ignatia but difference is that ignatia is having a silent grief they won't express but uh, esophagitis is having the grief which they will show in an exaggerated form uh, why in an exaggerated form because they want attention so esophagitis is having uh, so much so attention seeking in them but if you compare with the tarantula they are also attention seekers right but uh, tarantula will have the insect qualities the deceitfulness will be high even uh, whatever they are doing they are actually not uh, suffering from the disease they just feed the disease wo mazak kar rahe hote hain wo ek jhoot bata rahe hote hain ki wo disease se suffer kar rahe hain actually they are not having in a disease sometimes so that is a difference of them and in the esophagitis when they are in a company when they are with their friends around them they feel better because they are getting attention at that time okay so that is a thing another thing what you call uh, cant rites the esophagitis is having so much so gassy abdomen there is so much so gas production gas formation but always remember that it is going to come out or expel out uh in the form of eructations only never in the form of uh, flatulency so that is in one uh, important thing regarding it 
second you can call also uh, use in the deregulation of milk so when the flow of milk in a mother or you can say which is not much nutritious actually the child wants some nutrition from the milk but the milk is very scanty poor in the nutrition thin even there is a bluish tinge uh, seen in the milk you can see the indication of asa foetida sometimes even a non pregnant woman may have some discharge of milk uh, like secretion that is galactoria so at that time it is also useful so that is a thing of deregulation of milk then you can uh, also see there is a deep ulceration because asa foetida is a syphilitic remedy so deep ulceration is present in them these deep ulcers are very much uh, the edges are very much hard and indurated the bluish ulcers which uh, which don't heal readily uh, for that you can compare with the orum mat also because orum mat is also having the same thing right uh, the having action on the bones so both of them are having the things but here in the asa foetida the discharge from the ulcer is very much bloody why uh, the asa foetida is having the venous stasis so venous stasis there will be the blood which is oozing in nature so watery bloody discharge is going to be seen it is also indicated due to this only it is also indicated in the diabetes so diabetic ulcer diabetic foot gangrene so these are the point of action uh sometimes the discharge is so much so fetid you can say that it is also uh, may lead to uh, in the latter condition may lead to the septicemia also so it is also having the action in septicemia apart from that if we get a comparison for the comparison you can say the globus hystericus ignatia is also having the globus hystericus but we have differentiated with the help of the grief silent grief in the ignatia and hysterical exaggerated form of grief in the uh, asa foetida argentum is having anxiety asa foetida is having the anxiety but remember argentum always have better with the walking in the open air and asa foetida better with the attention when they will get attention argentum is not having any uh, relation with the attention that they want it orum mat we can compare because it is having the bone uh, sphere of action destruction is much high in both the remedies and you can also compare with the hepar self hepar self has ulcers which are very much sensitive to touch right the the borders of the hepar self uh, ulcers are very much sensitive to touch there is also having the small small eruptions on the borders but uh, the asa foetida they are not having uh the eruptions like that and important thing is that they are having so much so offensive fetid discharge from it right so that is a thing even you can compare with the sulfur because there is one symptom where uh there is a fainting attacks at 11 am because of hunger they are having the empty organ sensation that is why uh, we can compare with the sulfur so that's all for the asa foetida again even you can think of something like modalities as it is an uh, uh, syphilitic remedy so aggravation in the night in the resting position warm coverings aggravate them and also the suppression of discharges so when they are getting suppression of any type of discharges they will suffer from something better ameliorate it by touch and by pressure hepar self was having the problem from touch as of what it is having better from touch so that is a thing so that's all for uh, as of what it is hope you like and thank you